Hey guys, Real Touch GML here, and today we will be working with health bars that stay above your player's head. So let's get right into it. First off, create an object called OBJ Health Bar. It does not need a sprite. Now, if you remember in my first tutorial in the create event, I set health to 100. You can do that here or in the health bar. It doesn't matter. So now, in the health bar event, in the step, you're going to jump to position obj player dot x, obj player dot y, so that this health bar stays with your player. And as you see here, again, jump to position if I went too fast in the step event. So now in the draw event, we're going to actually draw the health bar. So go to score tab and draw a health bar. Now X1 is the top right. So this always needs to be a negative number. So I like negative 20. X2, now before I go on, you can modify these numbers to fit um, above your player's head, your sprite's head. Mine's a 32 by 32. So if you also have a 32 by 32, uh, this should work for your, your player. So in X2, it's the bottom right, which needs to be a positive. Remember, you can change these numbers if you want it smaller or bigger, the health bar. So in the Y1, it needs to at least be a negative. So I like doing negative 20 the same as my X. Y2 needs to be smaller than Y1. So since it's negative, it needs to be a higher number. If that makes sense. Um, so, because negatives, the lower the number, the bigger it is. Um, so we need to get higher. So I'm just going to make 10, 10 pixels higher, which means, which means, um, here if I can, it's it's this, it's the um, the width. So that 10 pixel will be the width of your health bar. So make sure it's relative or else this will not work. Go ahead and put your health bar in the room. And we can test it out. And you see the health bar. I went ahead and changed the background just to um, show you that the health bar is there. And it stays above your head fine. So now I'm going to show you how to get your health down if you hit enemies. This is not hard at all. Go to collision, obj enemy 1, go to score, health, negative 1, relative. Make sure it is relative or it will not work. Um, duplicate, collision, enemy 2, duplicate, collision, enemy 3. Also in your obj health bar in the step event, go to score test score and if do value one smaller than so if if the your health is smaller than one it's going to restart the room fade out and in and it's going to set your health back to 100 or else your health will stay at zero when the room is reset so now if we test out our game You can see we have our health here, and if we hit an enemy, you can see our health goes down. Okay. And if our health goes all the way down, it restarts the room and puts health back at 100. So I hope this, I hope this helped, guys. Um... Be sure to comment, like, subscribe if you'd like to. Um, more tutorials on the way. I'm thinking about doing a boss tutorial to make bosses or um, different levels. How you get to different levels and things. Um, so yeah, be sure to comment if you want any of that. If you want to request, I'll probably do it. 
Um, if there's any problems here or any of my videos, go ahead and comment that because I need to know. Um, so yeah. Yeah, I'll see you later, guys. Comment. Subscribe. Like. Yeah.